I mean, you already know, man, all things sports entertainment. LeBron is clearly, he's saying that he's tired of people asking him about Bronny. One of the reporters asked him yesterday, uh, the preseason is still going on, a question, and he said, quote, he's a grown man. Ask him how he's handling it. Now, I do remember, shout out to Carcino and the brother Two Ross, and he made a video about this, but they're saying that Bronny isn't talking to the media right now. He got some type of exemption. And let me say this, honestly. LeBron, people are going to ask you about Bronny because this is your son on the team. People like Bronny. Bronny's a likable, he's a likable young man, honestly. But how you gonna get tired about asking questions when you made sure that he was picked number 55 overall by Los Angeles Lakers? Rich Paul, team, Clutch Sports, allegedly told people, if you draft Bronny, Bronny's going to go overseas. He's playing on the Lakers. Fine. If you want to do all that, I'm with you on all that. But this is the this is the other side of it. Don't come on here and have your son on your team, but you don't want to ask questions about it. Well, then ask him how he's handling it. Well, where is he at? Why is he not able to do interviews? Is it because he's struggling? You know, and y'all don't want him to, to talk. Listen, honestly, let me let me be honest. And this is what I don't like about the, the modern athlete. And I'm gonna keep saying this. When everything is good, they want all the praise, right? They want to be, um, they want to have all this adulation. You know what I'm saying? But when it's time for criticisms, you, you don't want you to say nothing. They don't want you. That's just like Shador Sanders with Cam Newton. When, when, when you, uh, when you big Shador up, it's all good. But when you critique him now, he don't want to talk. Now you a hater. And that's the problem, man. LeBron, <laughs> what type of question if you worked in corporate America and you and your son was on the same team, development team, you know, I work in IT, development team, they're going to ask you questions about your son because you, if you made sure he got on, you made sure your son made $2 million a year down playing professional basketball. People want to know. And how come Bronny isn't doing interviews? Man, I don't understand that. The problem, listen, y'all been protecting this young man. And I understand in high school, in high school, it makes sense. But after that, if you want to be a professional man in college, and in the pro he only did, what, one interview in college where he made one statement in college and that was it? And then now the pros? No, man, uh-uh, uh-uh, man, no, man. Y'all can't keep protecting this young man from the media. Again, if Brody don't want to play the NBA, I totally support it, but you got to go up there and be able to take the fire. And same thing with you, LeBron. They're going to ask you question after questions. Don't act like. Somehow, Bronny was traded to the Lakers, and you didn't know, and you really didn't want him there. All of this was 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 handpicked, as the two, as the brother Two Raw would say. Genie Bus has something to do with it. JJ Redick has something to do with it. LeBron has something to do with it. Rich Paul has something to do with it. So deal with the deal with it. <laughs> Y'all got to deal with this stuff, man. This is ridiculous, man. This is the reason why a lot of people are uh being turned off by sports because many these athletes man they so they so thin skinned man you make 50 million dollars a year you know they're gonna ask you a question about Bronny you can just give a nonchalant response oh man he's a grown man ask well where he at why he not up here talking you know so I didn't want to get my quick thoughts about it it's sad man um like I said these athletes and uh oh one more thing one more thing for people to keep saying that I'm hating on Bronny that is absolutely false because if you go back and watch my videos all my videos was bigging up lebron my maybe first or second video is what people can learn from lebron and Bronny and how lebron was manifesting stuff for his kids which i have no problem with that but at the same time you got to be able to take the heat you got to be able to take everything that comes with it you can't just take millions of dollars but then you don't want people talking about you you don't want people making videos. If you if you making you a billionaire, you out there and you play trash, people gonna talk about your game being trash. Nobody's hating. We just talking about the game. People like. I think a lot of people genuinely like LeBron as a person. I don't have a problem with LeBron as a person. I don't like how they control the media, but personally, I had no problem with it. And then, like I said, it seems like him and his wife have done a great job raising their son. You know, to be a very respectable young man. But at the end of the day. Because we criticize this game don't mean that we that we haters. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.